Welcome, Cancer, to your weekly reading. This is for the 12th to the 19th of June. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. I'm going to start off by looking at the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Now, Cancer, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And I must apologize up front if there is any change in lighting. The sun goes behind a cloud and then it comes back out again and it does change the lighting now and then. We're going to start off here with the Ten of Wands energy and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's get your clarifier. So we want to understand what this Ten of Wands energy is for Cancer, please. What is this Ten of Wands energy? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Cancer, you are coming through as Queen of Pentacles at the beginning of the week. It doesn't matter if you are masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are talking about. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a very solid, practical queen. She sits in a very abundant landscape on her solid throne. She's grounded and she holds her pentacle in her hand. This is the queen who is very much in tune with her decisions, where she's going, and she looks at everything in a very mature and wise way. At her feet sits the little rabbit. Now this little rabbit lets us know that there is luck coming in for you, which is lovely to see, because above that we have the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands tells me that you have been going through a period in a certain area of your life that has been hard going cancer. This could be in a relationship. It could be something in your business, in your job, in a family situation. Please take it as it resonates. But the Ten of Wands is like carrying something that is not light, okay? And carrying it for a long time. The good news is 10 is a completion number. This is where you're headed, right there. So you do not have long to go. And with our Queen of Pentacles energy coming through and that little rabbit there, there is something changing, something shifting. This 10 is going to start alleviating. And I think you're going to get big signs of it at the beginning of the week. Right, let's see now who or what this King of Cups energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we now want to clarify King of Cups for Cancer, please. Let's see now who or what is this King of Cups energy. And you have got the star. Cancer, this is a very lovely energy. There is somebody coming through and they are presenting as the King of Cups. Now, once again, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we're speaking about. This is somebody who is very mature, very wise, very stable. Can you see the very solid throne and a very turbulent ocean? Doesn't matter what's going on around this person, they keep calm. They understand their emotions, they understand the emotions of those around them, and they don't get caught up in dramas. Now, I feel this person is coming through with something. Now, it could be an offer, it could be a suggestion, it could be an advice, it could be a gift. Cancer, it'll be so different for everybody. But what it does have 
is the energy of the star. And the star is about a blessing coming in. So whatever they come in with, you regard it as a blessing. And you're taking it as a blessing. So you are being told this week, all focus, all energy on what this King of Cups energy is presenting to you with our star energy. Lovely Cancer. That looks very positive. Right, let's go ahead now and see what the Seven of Wands energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. So we now want to see what is this Seven of Wands energy for Cancer, please. The Chariot. Okay. Cancer, what I'm seeing here in your unexpected is I feel this Seven of Wands energy was very much related to your Ten of Wands energy. You know, when you are carrying a very heavy burden, when you've got a lot on your plate and you're feeling bogged down and feeling like, oh my gosh, when is this ever going to end? Of course, this is going to make you feel quite defensive, quite protective of either yourself, your heart, your time. Everybody is different because there's so much coming at you and you're thinking, okay, I'm just one person. I cannot manage carrying another wand at this time. But unexpectedly, we see this alleviation coming in. What happens is you now have an energy of moving ahead full speed. Can you see the speed at which these horses are going? They're going so quickly now, Cancer, that our chariot rider has this shocked, perplexed look on his face because you are going from this energy. Can you see this energy? It's like the energy of walking through knee-high mud to that releasing. You can now put down your wand. You don't have to be so defensive of whatever it is that you were defensive of. And you are moving now quickly. Things are moving. Things are happening at a very fast pace. So much so, I'm going to tell you, my dearest Cancers, it's going to be quite surprising for you because you have been in this sluggish energy for quite some time. And to move from Ten of Wands to Chariot, my goodness, be prepared. It's going to take you aback, but in a very good and positive way. Let's see now what our Knight of Cups energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what this Knight of Cups energy is for Cancer, please. What is this Knight of Cups energy for Cancer? The Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, Cancer. There is something very lovely happening here. What we are seeing here in messages and advice from Spirit. The Knight of Cups speaks to us of an offer coming in. I feel this cup is connected to this cup. Spirit is wanting you to know whatever this is, is taking you into the future. This offer, like I said, it could be a gift, a surprise, advice, you name it. It will be different for everybody, but it's got substance. So much so that it's taking you right into the future. Hand of God is coming through with the Ace of Pentacles. And here's the Pentacle. Now, this Pentacle is an opportunity given to you by the Hand of God. And what this opportunity is, it's the possibility of walking down a new road, something that is going to bring you luck, bring you blessings, and bring in the movement of things in a positive and successful way. This, my dearest Cancerians, is the most beautiful and clear confirmation of what we have seen and spoken about regarding the cup and regarding the pentacle. This offer and this cup 
are very connected. It is something that is going to move you forward in a wonderful, progressive and successful way. Lovely to see this. And what a lovely, clear confirmation coming through from spirit. Let's see what the possible outcome of the week is. And we're just going to clarify nine of wands. Right, let's see now. What is this Nine of Wands energy for Cancer, please? What is this Nine of Wands energy? The King of Cups. How lovely. So, Cancer, you have the King of Cups coming out twice. And when I get a card coming out twice in a reading, the energetic power and the significance of the card now doubles. What I'm seeing here, whatever this King of Cups energy is, whatever that cup is for you, the cup that is taking you into the future releases you out of Nine of Wands energy. I feel this Nine of Wands energy is related to our Ten of Wands and Seven of Wands energy. The energy of feeling exhausted, defensive, carrying a heavy burden. All this energy now releases because of whatever this cup represents to you. This cup that is taking you into the future. This is looking incredibly positive, my dear Cancers. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see now what is Cancer's spirit animal for this week, please. Number six, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Six is your auspicious number. Any combination or variation of the number six, please consider a very lucky sign. The beaver is your spirit animal. So wherever the beaver comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And you are now on your way to building a solid foundation. Whatever this cup is, this pentacle that you're going down a new road with is something that is going into the future, something that is going to be solid and you're going to lay a solid foundation for things to come. Wonderful week ahead. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.